All right, we're talking to Coach Robert Herrera, head football coach with the San Lanzado Eagles. Coach, how are you this afternoon? Oh, I'm great. Thank you very much for having me. Sure. A couple of questions that I have for you, you know, talking about the upcoming season. Actually, the, the first one pretty much reflects on what happened last year. Obviously, last year was not your typical uh, football season for, for obvious reasons. Uh, what did you do in, with your program or with your assistant coaches and your players to try and make some adjustments to get through last season? Well, we did several things. Obviously, we followed uh, the CDC protocols that uh, were implemented last year. And then San Elisario, uh, you know, they gave us plenty of hand sanitizer. They uh, gave us masks. You know, um, the coaches didn't meet in person. We would meet virtually. Uh -huh. You know, so, you know, last year the emphasis uh, was on giving the players, the seniors especially, the best experience they could get in those circumstances. You know, um, what made it very difficult was that, you know, our our lineup changed from week to week because, you know, you have a player, you know, who was exposed to the virus and now they had to be up for 14 days or 10 days, whatever it was. So that made it very difficult. Uh, but, you know, I'm very proud of the way the kids uh, reacted and, and, and very proud of how resilient they were. And looking back over uh, what you did uh, last season, 2020, was there any adjustment that you made that you thought worked really well that you might continue in the future? Uh, yes, absolutely. You know, uh, we figured out that uh, we are we're a running team. You know, we uh, we got there to Sinelli and we wanted to throw the ball around. But uh, last year, you know, because of the situation we're in, you know, it was – very difficult, you know, to, to see who the quarterback was going to be from week to week. So we, uh, we hung our hat with the run and we realized we're, we're pretty good at running the ball. Uh -huh. So we're going to, we're going to keep it going. Good. Good. L looking back at the, uh, um, at, at last season again, obviously uh, you all made the playoffs last season. Uh, yes, we did. Uh, with, uh, in by district. Uh, how do you think, what is the attitude of the kids coming into this season? I'm sure it's a little bit more positive knowing that you, you made the playoffs last year. Yes. Well, uh, we've made, uh, we made the playoffs last year and, uh, our kids this year expect to make the playoffs. Sure. You know, uh, San Elisario, uh, made the last made the playoffs in 1998 And then uh, when Coach Aguilar got there in 2018, you know, he made the right, playoffs. Right. And then uh, my first year last year as head football coach, we made the playoffs. So now the kids, the school uh, community, they just expect the kids to make sure. the playoffs. Sure, yeah, that, that, and, and rightfully so. I mean, you, you have to continue to build on it and, and, uh, and be successful. Uh, when, we're when we're looking about this year's edition, Uh, the San Arizario Eagles. Uh, give me a couple of names that we might want to look for offensively and defensively this year. Okay. Uh, it's a young man who uh, came out uh, for football this year. Uh, he, he has never played football until this year, but he's a 22-foot long jumper. Oh. Um, he's one of our slots. And, uh, you know, we gave him the ball in space. We're really happy about, you know, what he can do out there. Okay. You know, we uh, have... Uh, His name is Misael Alarcón. You know, we have another uh, slot receiver. His name is Juan Ruiz. You know, he's very fast. You know, uh, we gave him the ball in space. It's going to do well. Uh, Joe Ortega, he's our middle linebacker and our tailback. You know, we expect him to do good things on defense. Mm -hmm. And uh, Josh Garcia, he's our quarterback. You know, uh, he got injured last year uh, during our first game against Tornillo. And we, you know, we had to just put band-aids and, and keep going. But he's back this year. And... We expect great things out of our quarterback, Josh Garcia. Sounds like the future is pretty bright, Coach. What, what do you see as far as uh, as district? In other words, how how is your uh, how are you satisfied with your pre-district schedule, and then going on into district? Well, we have a very tough uh, pre-district schedule. You know, uh, we've got Bel Air on the schedule, we've got right. Irvin on the schedule, we've yes. got Jeff on the schedule. Uh, we're trying to get ready for uh, for district. You know, because sure. our district is tough. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Clint uh, advanced yes. in the playoffs last year. Riverside, Riverside almost advanced, but basically all their kids are back. Right. You know, Mountain View is, is tough, and Fabens is always tough. So, you know, we, we got to get ready for, for district with a pre-district schedule that's going to be, you know, difficult for a kid so that, you know, when, 
you know, when the district comes around, we're, we're ready to play. Well, Coach, it was nice talking to you. Good luck this season, and hope to see you during the season. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.